Acme Tribe. So it's Crystal Thursday. And today I have a really cool stone. It's called the Prophecy Stone to show you about. Yeah, it's really cool. Prophecy Stone. So Prophecy Stones are found mainly in Egypt, like in the same place where the Libyan desert glass is found, like the white desert in Egypt. That's where these are found. Egypt has so many amazing treasures. Yeah, it's called Prophecy Stone because it says that the guy that found these experienced some very strong visions during meditation with this. So with that said, this stone is best used during meditation. It can put you It can put you in very very deep meditation trances. Yeah. So this stone has many beneficial uses. It is a powerful, very, very powerful grounding stone just because of its high energy vibration. And it will bring in your body, flooding in the powerful golden light of the divine. So it is even said that it is strong enough to ground you to Mother Earth and just really center you, ground you. So this is a very good stone to meditate with. So this stone is connected strongly with the third eye, the crown chakra, and the root chakra. And since it has such high vibrations through meditation, that action can lead to the activation of the pineal gland and the third eye, which is related to the development of all kinds of psychic gifts. So there you say that you might not get anything from it at first, but give it time and it will surely start to show you some of its strong powers. Among these gifts is the ability for very strong psychic visions, hence the name Prophecy Stone. Also, it is said to help manifest clear audience. That's the gift of psychic hearing. With this psychic hearing, it will then help to aid you in communication with beings in the spirit realm. That is not limited to only your spirit guides. This is like many other, your spirit team, your ancestors is, yeah. So they say the energy is a little all over the place at first, but you need to connect with this thing. You need to have it on you, in your pocket, whatever, and really connect with it, meditate with it, and envision yourself like going inside of the stone and talking to it, and give it time. It could be a couple days, a couple weeks, couple months. You know, this thing has its own time. So I actually found a blog on the website, this crystalvaults.com website, and they said that they stumbled, stumbled upon something by accident. They had this sitting on a shelf, as they were messing with an elixir, a crystal elixir of some other crystals. And the person that was doing it started having very vivid visions. So they figured out what it was that caused that. And it was this prophecy stone that was sitting on the shelf. And so they did some testing with it and they found that when mixed with a certain elixir, from made from the essence of other stones that it kind of activated it but it had its own timing with the activation like they couldn't you know make it do it on their own time it was like you know it would go inert and have some really vivid visions later on or it would you know later on it would have vague visions it was, <laughs> it's like very sporadic and it has its own little timing but yeah, so they're saying that you can make your own little elixir to work with this thing. So you can take some pyrite or some smoky quartz, put it in some water, and take it outside and set it in the sun for like four hours, okay? Collect that water and keep it. They okay, once with that water made from the pyrite and smoky quartz, to add like three to six drops per week to this stone, and then meditate with it regularly and so do this in a quiet place and you may not experience visions right away but eventually they will come and they will be sporadic sometimes vivid sometimes vague but they 
found out that that helped activate it was that right there was making that elixir getting a glass bowl and putting pyrite smoky quartz in it setting it out in the sun for like four hours and then taking that water and putting like three to six drops on this thing once a week i thought that was a very interesting read i will actually put a link to that blog post down in the description so you can check it out yourself other things this helps with it helps with accessing the akashic records hmm. so yeah the akashic records is just a higher dimension plane of everything that has happened will happen so yeah. if you want to access akashic records this baby right here will help you prophecy stone i mean that's kind of a big name right there that's like prophecy stone that's like a big to do okay <laughs> So yeah, another thing it helps with, it's like a, you know, since it's a good grounding stone, it's a good mental cleanser. It helps get rid of erratic thoughts, making way for decision making and rational thoughts. So that's kind of, yeah. So if it's good at grounding, yeah, it's going to clear your mind. So, and meditating, if you meditate with it, you're going to clear your mind. So that's kind of goes hand in hand. Yeah, it. So this draws energy from the earth and up into the physical body and into your aura. It strongly anchors the auric field within the body as it stimulates the third eye chakra. So this is like a very, very powerful stone, guys. Get you one. I got mine from a lady off of that app, Mercari. Yeah, she like has a rock store on there. And so if you go in there and just search Prophecy Stone, I'm sure some will pop up. It's not that heavy. It's probably, I don't know. It totally looks like it's something that came from out of space. It's really not your typical looking rock. It's not your typical looking rock, you know? Okay. I do. You play this? You play this? Give me two. Gotta look at my kill, y'all. Okay. Oh, baby. Oh. He's playing right now. He's all over the place. Oh, my baby. He's such a pretty baby. Jimmy Choo. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. <laughs> yeah. In face. Prophecy Stone. So for those that are too aggressive, this stone can have a really calming effect on them. Yeah. Yeah. For those who are too timid or passive, it can bring a strong sense of strength and encouragement and empowerment to identify their truth, your truth. Yeah. So if you have a hard time speaking your truth, this stone right here keep it in your pocket in your purse something like that you could have a little necklace made out of it even it's so ugly it's cute i like it i like the way it feels it's smooth and it has all these different like you know little things that pop out it's pretty cool you can also bring repressed emotions to the surface so that you can work through those and process them and it will check the ego in the process yeah so here's my little take on this thing these are things are found in egypt the same place libyan desert glass is found the same place that all that crazy stuff that people can't explain is found the pyramids the sphinx 
all that stuff that, you know, people still today can't figure out how it's made. So, what does all that have in common? Other worldly things, like, you know, people have speculated that Libyan desert glass is not from this earth. I don't think this is from this earth either. I think that, you know, these are all bought by the same people that built the pyramids, possibly. Who knows? But, you know, Egypt always has that reputation for having otherworldly stuff in it. So, I wouldn't be surprised if this wasn't either. Anyways, guys, I don't think these are too expensive if you find the right person. There are some people that try to up the price and sell them for ridiculously high prices that I found recently online. So you can find them for a decent price. Don't trip out if the first time you see prices that they're really high. Keep looking, you can find a decent priced one. So I just wanted to show you this awesome stone. I really love it. It's, I got it last year. So yeah, that's all I have for today, guys. Love and light to you all.